Hey everyone, this is Stephen KC Railpin here, and today we got a product review, because as you saw in my previous video where I did a little bit of an age of scale update on some of my late birthday presents, I ended up getting, I got this locomotive, so if you haven't seen it, but it, seen the video, here's what the locomotive it is. This is the Scale Trains ES-44 locomotive, so this is an ES-44 AC, so my example is the is the Norfolk Sun Heritage Unit number 8101, the Central Georgia Heritage Unit. So, there's that. So, anyway, so I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like. So, basically, let me just, you know, the typical unboxing, you just open up like this, slides off, and then you, and then you got these, the foam. Right, packaging and the product manual. Let's let that side. And there's the locomotive itself. It looks very nice. Wow. Looks very nice. So, let's put the camera down and get that out of the box. Alright. Let's see that side. And let's just basically just slide out like that. And then you just open this top right here. It also comes with this little baggie, which are the bearing caps. So this is the truck baggie, and there's the locomotive. So I'm gonna pull out gently. All right, just gotta take this off. I gotta take off. Yeah, it had this on, so I had to remove it. This helps secure the locomotive trucks when it's in shipment, and. There it is right there. So, once I get the logo on the tracks, we'll begin the review. Okay, so now we're going to start with the front of the locomotive. As you can see, the locomotive has lots of detail for being a ribbon counter locomotive. As you can see, the front's got the snow plow, MU hoses and train line hoses. It's got the coupler. It's got a nice, really coupler, coupler right there. It's got ditch lights. Handrails are nicely painted, and you can see it's also got a cab interior, it's got windshield wipers, so you can see sunshades, so if you look carefully, and, there, and right there, I'm oh, sorry, my camera just needs to focus, there's an event recorder, it's got the high headlight, and then there's the PTC antenna pre-installed. So this is basically the modern era of 8101, so this is basically the non-as-delivered. Because when they were first delivered, they didn't have the PTC. They had like some kind of like a dome of some sort. Until... And then when PTC started to become a thing, Norfolk started, started putting PTC on their locomotives. For safety. Just for their safeties. And there's the horn. Itself. Which is, as you know, the real 8101 has a K5 HLA, which is one of the two that has them. So let me, sorry, my camera needs to focus. Sorry, so there's the horn. There. And lots of good detail on the trucks, the fuel tank, and the paint job is nicely done, so I'll show you a little overview. There's that. And there's the builder's information at the bottom. We're going to go around that. Looks very nice. And here's the rear. It's nicely done. It's got the MU hoses as well. The rear. Rear ditch lights because that's what Norfolk Star locomotives are supposed to have. And the seat through grills. Very nice. Be done. So, so, I'm going to turn the locomotive around, so I'm going to set it on the tracks, so we'll show you the other side, so this is the conductor side, same thing, it's got the really nice, it's really nice, and then I really like the new wheels it has too. Scale Trains did a good job on, on the wheels. You can see they're brown painted. Like the same thing they did on their AC 4400s. So, there's that. There's the Evel. 
help on the fuel tank. A lot of good detail. That too. So, very nice. And yes, as you know, the, tr the bearing caps do rotate. So, I'll show you guys what they look like. So, let me apply some tread power. So if you look carefully, the bearing caps do rotate when the train locomotive is moving. That's actually probably one of the coolest features for a rivet counter locomotive. So, so further ado, let's just, I'll show you guys the headlights and the ditch lights. So, here it goes. That's what they look like. They're really bright with LEDs. Now I'll show you the what's it like when it's in reverse. So I'm gonna set the camera right here. Alright. So as you see when it's the rear, the rear ditch lights do not light up. Since this is a DCC ready logo by the Run it one more time, so I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay. There you go. So, yeah, there it is. So, there it is. So, my personal thought on this locomotive, I gotta say, very nice locomotive. One of the best local scale trains has ever done because since the ES44 is one of the best sound locomotives of, of all of all the model train manufacturers because, you know, since basically the Jeevos are locomotives you see every day when you're a rail fan because I see them all the time. And I don't mind seeing them all the time because I personally like the Jeeva locomotives. But I gotta say, this is actually an outstanding locomotive that Scale Trains has done. I'm really glad they were able to do the remaining Heritage units. And now they have, and they also did another rerun of the four Heritage units that they did before, back in the second run. Which, you know, were the Southern, Pennsylvania, Interstate, and the original NS Heritage units. But now, I, but for the third run, I got ended up getting Central Georgia. And wow, I gotta say, this is actually very nicely detailed. I really like this locomotive a lot, and I really plan to get more heritage units. Like, I think about possibly, there's a possible chance I might have to sell my Bachman heritage units. You know, the 8104, the Lehigh Valley, and the 8098. So I plan on replacing those with scale trains ones, so that way I can run them more on my layout. Even though they, they were sound equipped, but I'm thinking about getting rid of them, because, you know... Pulling power on the Bachmans is not the best. So, because scale trains is much better because they got stronger motors. So, anyways, I might have to think about possibly selling those possibly next year, like around 2024 or so. So, and I might get scale trains once sometime in the near future. So, I'm going to get both of those. And then, and then, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the of the third run of their of the EOS former ACs. So anyways, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'll also leave a run by of, of 8101 in action. And so yep. So anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Alright. Have a good day every have a good day everybody.